This is the Cask Elemento and it has quickly become one of my favorite road, gravel, and light mountain bike helmets of the year. So much so that when I spent a few days last week riding mixed terrain in the central California coast, the Elemento was one of two helmets that I brought. Why? Let's dive into it. As always, this isn't a sponsored video. Cask was kind enough to loan me the Elemento for review. No money changed hands and Cask has no say in the video. Over the years, I've ridden the Protoni, the Protoni Icon, the Vallegro, the Utopia, and so when the Elemento launched, I was intrigued, especially after I felt like the Protoni Icon wasn't quite the update that I had hoped for. More on that later. While safety is paramount with a helmet, let's begin with aesthetics because it really doesn't matter how safe a helmet might be. If it's not your style, it's not gonna be worth considering in the first place. I think that the Elemento is a great looking helmet. It's in line with what you'd expect from cask and the aesthetics don't deviate much from say, a Protoni Icon. I like the clean lines. I like the way that they've woven white and black together to create some beautiful modern helmet lines, as well as little touches like this reflective strip on the rear that adds visibility. Visually, it looks compact. And in fact, I think it looks more compact than other competing helmets. From a safety perspective, it received a five-star rating for Virginia Tech's test, which I think is kind of the new standard for helmet safety ratings. Cask has their own testing with a certification they call WG11, which claims to test a helmet's rotational impact far beyond international standards. Comfort wise, well, the Elemento is exceptional. Whether you're in the saddle for an hour or five hours, you'll quickly forget that you're wearing a helmet at all, which I think should be the new comfort standard for high-end road helmets in 2024. I have found the OctaFit system to feel really, really secure, especially kind of like on the back of your head. It really harnesses your head in and makes it feel secure. And look, there are no pressure points on my head, but I know that's subjective based on head shape. On the ceiling of the helmet, it has something in the padding that they're calling multipod, which is more dense than your typical helmet pads. And Cast claims that it decreases rotational impact while increasing ventilation. You can feel the multipods as you push the helmet down on your head, and they remind me of what you see on these super high-end saddles, like the mirror saddles. Cask uses something they call Fluid Carbon 12, which allows them to reduce the thickness of the shell to create better airflow, creating a cooler running helmet. And having ridden this helmet for you know, a handful of five plus hour days, I can tell you that heat was never once a concern. I mentioned that the Elemento looks more compact than competing helmets. It also feels more compact, which contributes to that feeling that you're not wearing a helmet at all. It's equally weighted all around, never pulling your head in a specific direction. If you've ever worn a helmet for five, six, seven, or even 10 hours straight, you'll appreciate the light weight of the Elemento and the low swing weight. The flip side of it being compact is that based on my head shape, it feels a little more compact front to back. I can feel that I'm wearing a more round and a less oval helmet. So depending on your head shape, this might be a concern. Then we come to the strap and it reminds me of just about every other cask strap but there's something missing. Where is that premium Italian leather under the chin? That was probably one of my favorite features of the Protoni Icon, and it seems to have gone missing with the Elemento. I get it, a chin strap's a chin strap, and maybe they were trying to save weight, but I think we got a little bit spoiled with the Protoni Icon. And if this is the flagship helmet and it's $400, I think that should have been included. Which brings me to my next point, value. At the time of this recording, the average high-end road helmet is around $300. And I say road helmet, but I mean gravel mountain bike as well. I think we've come to expect that if you want lightweight, comfort, aerodynamics, and good aesthetics, you're gonna be in that $250 to $300 range. The Elemento is $400, likely making it the most expensive helmet you've ever used. At least it was for me. That additional $100 is a little bit tough to swallow. So where do I land on this helmet? Well, I really like it. And overall, I'd give it an eight out of 10. To me, the Elemento is what I think the next generation Protoni should have been. Instead, we got the Icon, which was a little bit more of a refresh. Cast definitely didn't deviate much from their proven formula there. And I get it, if your cast and it ain't broke, why fix it? I think most Protoni helmet owners didn't see enough of a change with the Protoni Icon to make the switch, but the Elemento seems to pick up where the Protoni left off. It looks a little more modern, it's more comfortable, and it has just a few extra features that bring it up to speed and bring it into 2024. Not only that, but based on Cask's own rating system, you're getting the highest rating, five out of five on ventilation and five out of five on aerodynamics, which means if you're an aero helmet or Utopia helmet fan, but also like the everyday use and all around performance of something like the Protoni Icon, 
you get the best of both worlds with the Elemento, eliminating possibly the need for two helmets, which might allow you to more easily justify that additional $100 cost. And feel free to quote me on that when your significant other asks you why you sprang for the more expensive helmet. Look, all joking aside, if that's your mindset, maybe you're looking to consolidate helmets and you're really diving into the details of aerodynamics and ventilation, then maybe the $400 Elemento helmet is your one helmet to do it all. And that's totally cool. And I can tell you that as long as I have it, it's going to continue to be in my regular rotation. I really, really like the Elemento. Anyways, huge thanks to Cask for letting me demo this helmet. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for the support. And if you have any questions, drop me a comment below. Next, we're gonna talk about some other helmets that I've been riding as well as some shoes. And until next time, 